All right, guys, welcome to Upfront Games, episode 36. Um, we're going to talk about what Stadia plans to do with their news going forward, as well as some things that are happening with them. We're going to talk about PlayStation's uh, game, of the, game of the Month, Player's Choice, for January. And we're going to talk about uh, Xbox's pairing with Nike and EA Sports to create a package and of course, Nintendo Switch and an Animal Crossing fact. So let's jump right into it uh, with PlayStation, where the trailer is the Dark Crystal uh, Age Resistance Tactics. So check this out. Alright guys, so that was the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. Uh, looks pretty good. It reminds me of the Final Fantasy Tactics series. Um, so it definitely looks like it'll be a good play. Uh, there's a streaming campaign running through the 23rd of February to raise money for the, bu the bushfires hosted by the Sony Foundation Australia. A number of companies and personnel are joining the campaign to include Media, Mo Media Molecule on Valentine's Day from 4 to 6, uh, Gross Mean Time, Naughty Dog on February 19th from 10.30 to 12.30 Pacific Time, Insomniac Games Ted Price from 1 to 2.30 uh, Pacific Time on the 20th of February, and Sid Schumann and Shuhai Yoshida will do a joint stream on the 21st of February. Uh, January's Player's Choice game vote is live, and it includes DBZ Kakarot, Earth Knight, Eclipse, Edge of the Light, uh, Flat Heroes, Journey to the Savage Planet, Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition, Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire, and Shadow Legend VR. So those are the ones that are up for January. By all means, if you are interested, go over and lay in your vote for one of those titles on PlayStation for the month of January. Now, moving on to Xbox. Xbox's trailer for the week, Selma and the Wisp. That was Selma and the Wisp, and obviously there's some limited uh, gameplay within this. However, it seems like this was originally released way before to Xbox. Um, so it seemed to have come out 2016, but it does still look like a good title. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Now, uh, big discounts during the THQ Nordic and Handy Games 2020 sale through tomorrow. You can save up to 80% on games like Wreckfest, Monster Jam, Steel Titans, MX vs. ATV All Out, Darksiders, Sign More X, and more. So uh, go ahead and check those out if you're interested in getting any of the titles from THQ Nordic and Handy Games 2020 
sale. All right, Super Bowl has inspired Xbox, Nike, and EA Sports to come together to create a custom Xbox One X console, Nike X Madden NFL 20 Air Max 9, Air Max 90, sorry, I don't know, I had 19 popped in my head. Anyway, um, and they dropped the EA's, they dropped at the EA Super Bowl event, which was last night. Um, now, through the 8th, if you retweet the Xbox contest tweet to include the hashtag, hashtag Nike Madden NFL 20 Xbox sweepstakes, one lucky winner will walk away with the two custom products and a copy of Madden NFL, NFL 20. Now, Nike Miami will also raffle additional pairs of the shoe. It doesn't mean they're going to raffle them for free. They're going to raffle them just like they do any other brand new shoe that's coming out. It, that's going to be limited in a basically a contest that states that if you get this ticket, you can purchase them. Now, that being said, these are going to become collector's items as they always do. I just saw a listing for the PlayStation collaboration with Nike, and that shoe is $4,800. So keep in mind, um, if you got the opportunity and you're in Miami to go pick that up, or get involved in that raffle. There's no telling what the cost is that that wasn't stated. Um, but you do have an opportunity to win them for free up until the 8th by going to Twitter and retweeting the sweepstakes with that hashtag. So by all means, check that out. They do look pretty cool. Um, it's a blue and red uh, mix for the console and the controllers that go with it. Um, and then the shoes, there's a blue version and a red version. They did say these are coming in male and female sizes. So um, once you enter the raffle or, you know, whatnot, you'll be able to get something. So whether you're male or female. Moving on to Nintendo. Nintendo's Monster Energy Supercross 3 is the trailer for the week. So check this out. Any prediction for this year? I'm very optimistic about our team and really excited for my new teammate, Brian. The war's already started, the grand work's been laid. We're a hundred men strong, you should be afraid. This is that warrior music, you don't dance, you feel it. So put your hands up and let your head bow to keep the lights on and ease the hunger pain. This track is a mixture of hunger and pure rage. I'm legendary like Ray Charles, now I'm fearing. Hey Cooper, who is two thumbs and will be the champion? Brian. Monster Energy Supercross 3. Be Alright, that was Monster Energy Supercross 3. Uh, which looks like an awesome game. They always do and they play really well. Um, so if you're looking into uh, getting a new Monster Energy Supercross, there you have it. Uh, and it is available on all platforms as of the 4th. So, uh, RTS Ancestors Legacy might be coming to Switch. In a listing with Amazon Japan, it lists the title with a 19th May release date. This, of course, is not fully confirmed for the Western market, but being that it's already been out on Steam and was ported to PS4 and Xbox in 2019, it's pretty likely that we would see its way to the Switch here in the U.S. Now, you can only have one island per console in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This will mean up to eight players online can live on a shared island, and up to four of those residents can play on one console. Limits like this have been present on previous titles, and if you're thinking you could bypass this by just putting in a new SD card, sorry, the answer is no. It's stored internally. Sorry, guys. All right, moving on to Stadia, and there's no release for Stadia this week. Um... So, GameIndustry.biz recently released an article stating Stadia's response to complaints of slow announcements. They have said that there are several reasons when it comes to game releases that they aren't letting every detail out right away. That may be the publisher requirements or simply that they're not ready and they want to do some kind of pre 
um, pre-order bonuses or something like that that they basically alluded to in this article. So that's why they haven't touted what the 120 games that are going to be supported by Stadia going into the first six months of this year are yet. Now, that being said, um, they are adding 4K support, wireless controller support on browsers, additional Android phones, and extra assistant functions by the end of March. Now, this month, pros get Guilt and Metro Exodus, which I've already got my hands on because it came out on the first. Um, that brings the total to seven free games, which is great. Now, one heavy statement is that those that signed up to pro to be a pro member or a founder have a month left of free access to Google, and so they have to they have to make some things happen to encourage people to continue that nine ninety nine subscription. Now, I will tell you from my personal standpoint, I will probably continue my subscription until about June. If I don't see improvements from the service between now and June, then I may just cancel and go back to my PlayStation 4 awaiting the PlayStation 5's release. It's just how it's going to be. But anyway, I'm hoping that things improve and they can actually do this the right way once they work out the kinks, bugs, and whatnot, especially with the controller side because it doesn't make sense to be wired in 2020. It just doesn't. But that's what you have to do right now if you want to connect to a phone or a web browser session without using the Chromecast controller or the Chromecast Ultra. So, anyway, in other news from 9to5google.com, Google's quietly rolling out a Stadia controller update. So, you have to connect your controller to Wi-Fi through your app and then go to the controller menu in the, in the app itself and that will update the controller. This includes bug, bug fixes and could be related to wireless play on the web. So if you haven't done that and you happen to own one, um, I know I'll be doing mine today, but go ahead and knock out that update. It's really easy. Just turn your app on on your phone and then hit the button on the PlayStation or the Stadia controller and it will link, it'll ask you to link Wi-Fi because you're not turning the game on, essentially. And once you do, go to controller update and it should run like it did initially uh, to force an update to the controller itself. So, guys, that's it for this week. And I wanted to say that I apologize for the end of the month video. Um, we didn't really have a whole lot of time on our hands to get into that, so... What I was going to do was a top 10 rumors and speculations surrounding the new consoles. However, I want to do that in a way that makes a lot more sense. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop that video tomorrow because I want to make sure that we've got all of our facts straight. We're not giving out any false information because I'm not going to build that kind of channel. That's just not me. Now, um... That being said, look out for that tomorrow. This month, I'm trying to see what I'm going to do as far as the review or end of the month video. It will all depend on whether or not this PS5 event happens because if it does, there may be a video basically following up on that event because that's going to be the biggest piece uh, for this month if it in fact happens. I've heard February 5th. I've heard later in the month, but there's nothing confirmed from Sony about invites to the press or anything like that to an event. So that being said, we just don't know. So keep that in mind, and I will see you again tomorrow when we release the new video for the speculation of the um, hardware components slash rumor around the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So, thank you, and as always, leave your comments, questions, complaints, whatever, below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Thank you, guys.